hello, hello, hello. I am John Beckman, Professor John Beckman, Dr. John Beckman. Let's do a quick tutorial today on how to make rakes. rakes. So a student was trying to sort of replicate the style of Albrecht Durer, who does etchings and engravings. When you have engravings, you often have multiple parallel lines raking across, setting the contours of the image. So to make a rake like that, I would zoom in pretty close and I would make like a sharp diamond, kind of thing like this, fill that in, take that and paste that, make a series of pastes equidistant apart. That's pretty good. Merge all the layers, take the box selection tool, select that region, edit, copy, file, new. The program knows automatically to make the clipboard on the new file exactly the size of the thing that you copied. So just hit create, paste, okay. Now to select all, edit, define brush preset. Let's name this brush rake one. Okay, now we have a rake brush. So let's go back to our file. You should be able to change the size of this rake. And now you should be able to do rake imagery like this, okay? And keep in mind, you could do you could do you could make a brush that was as wide as you want it. So if you needed to do real wide rakes, I would make the brush extra wide. So this is a beautiful way to make rakes and rakes can be very beautiful. And this will help if you're trying to sort of replicate the style of like an electron micrograph or an etching. Very good. Hit like, hit share, hit subscribe. Good tutorial. <coughs>